Today I'm going to be making a wreath in collaboration with my friend Dave from Dave's Wreaths and Things. Dave has an amazing channel where he creates the most beautiful high-end wreaths that are made on a budget and he gives the best step-by-step -step directions. We are making two wreaths, one today and one tomorrow, so make sure you tune in for both. Hey everybody, I'm Susie and this is Susie Stuff. Welcome to Station KDIY, Channel 146, home of quick, easy, affordable, and always fun DIYs. Today is all about two friends, two days, and two wreaths. We are so excited to bring this to you, so what do you say? Let's get started right now. Come on! As Dave and I were collaborating on what we wanted to do, we decided pull noodles would be so much fun to use as our base wreath. So this first wreath is a pull noodle wreath. I grabbed a noodle from Dollar Tree and taped it together with some duct tape. Then I went outside and spray painted it just about one coat of some white spray paint. Did you know that Dollar Tree has fabric pieces of burlap now? Oh yes, and I grabbed this sort of off-white white color, and they also have the natural color as well. For this wreath, I just used one roll of the burlap, but just in case, get two. <laughs> and I'm going to cut it into about seven inches. It doesn't have to be exact, just kind of uh, roughly seven inches because you just want to wrap it around the uh, wreath. And then you're going to need some of these tools like that to help you uh, push down because the glue certainly comes through that burlap. And so I'm just going to lay it down, face down, and then wrap it around to the back and use my hot glue to uh, attach it and then grab that tool to help mash it down. have to have such a long piece like I did you can actually make squares if you like but just make sure you go all the way around and for this wreath it doesn't have to be perfect because a lot of the wreath will be covered up by my decorations So now it is all covered up in the burlap which is so pretty good color and now what will we add to it pinwheels Yes, that's right, pinwheels from Walmart. They are only 98 cents and they are in the toy section. I chose the blue and green colors. They are so, so pretty. But one thing that made me mad at them is that they have this little tag on the front and I knew or hoped that I could take them off. So all I did is grab my little scissors and just cut into the circle there, you can see, and I just did a little quick and it came right off. That just took a second to do, but I just wanted to add a little bit more to the pinwheels. And I have had these beautiful sort of vintage buttons I got at Walmart as well. And now they have come to good use. Look at them, aren't they so pretty? They have these little flowers on them and the colors are gorgeous. So all I did was just hot glue them right in the center of the pinwheel. What do you think? After watching my wreath video, you'll want to jump over to Dave's channel and check out his pool noodle wreath. It is awesome, and I have linked his video down below in the description box. Now, 
Now all the buttons are secure and it's time to add them to the wreath. This will be so easy. All you need is a craft knife like this or even a pair of scissors or anything that you will need to make a little hole in the pool noodle to attach the pinwheel. So you just pop it off of the stick of the pinwheel. I added a little bit of hot glue to keep it secure and ta-da, it fits in there perfectly. That's what's so great about these pool noodles is that you can just like stick anything in them and wrap them and just do whatever you want. So I go around with um, these pinwheels and attach them to my noodle. I am in love with this blue green color. Love, love, love it. And here you can get super creative. You can go all the way around or just on one side. And for this wreath, I used eight of the 98 cent pinwheels. And I kind of go almost all the way around with one little section left open, just like this. And I'm using this beautiful, perfect Hello Summer uh, sign from Dollar Tree. It has the exact same colors as the pinwheel. I hope you can find it. They usually have these signs at every Dollar Tree. And I was so excited that they matched my pinwheels. So I added these, um, what do you call them? The uh, pipe cleaners to the back. And I'm just gonna attach it that way. You can also hot glue it to help secure it. But I just did it this way. And then I wrapped it around the back. I'm getting excited. No wreath is complete without a beautiful bow. And let me tell you, I learned so much from Dave and how to make a really good bow. I'm not very good at doing that, but mine came out pretty decent. And I am using this beige gingham pattern. I wanted to keep it neutral so as not to take away too much from the pinwheels. I used about 18 inches of ribbon and I made, um, I think five, is that five there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Did I use six? Okay. And then I just scrunched it up in half and put them all together and secured it with um, a piece of wire. And let me tell you, I, I just hot glued it on. And you could use a pipe cleaner too and wrap it around. But I tell you, thank you, Dave. I did not know how to make a bow like that. And he really helped me out. So what do you think? How gorgeous is this wreath? I am so in love with it and cannot wait to put it on my door. Um, I'm still in the spring mode, but I'm going to put this up very, very soon. And I hope that you love this wreath as much as I do. And let me tell you, you are going to love Dave's wreath too. Remember his link is down below. Thank you for joining us today for Two Friends, Two Days, Two Wreath Special. Tune in tomorrow for another amazing wreath from Susie and Dave. I also have a garden patio hack episode coming out on Monday. Wow, that's three in a row. Yay! So thank you for tuning in to Station KDIY, Channel 146, Susie Stuff. Bye, everybody.